it's Saturday and it's about noon, one o'clock ish. Um, we're getting ready to go to the mall, do a little shopping because my birthday is coming up and I got some extra money for overtime this past couple weeks and I just feel like getting a couple new things. It snowed a little bit last night, just a dusting. Nothing major, nothing like DC is getting right now. DC has like, I don't know, it's supposed to get like 30 inches or something. How much is it? Three, I don't know how many inches that is. Oh, 36. Uh, yeah. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to come back here because tech plays today. We're going to go watch a basketball game at his work, too. He can explain about that. We're going to just... It's way too close to my face. <laughs> we're just going to the... There'll be a video to explain. It's just a wheelchair basketball tournament at our work that they have once a year. He didn't sound very excited. <laughs> wheelchair basketball tournament over on campus. It was our first uh, time seeing a wheelchair basketball tournament. I guess they run them every year. It's pretty big. They have teams from uh, from not just Kentucky, but all over, all over, not all over the country, I guess, but all over the region. I know there's a team from Virginia, a couple teams from Illinois, uh, the referees, they have their own association. So it was pretty cool to see something different like that. It's just crazy to see people with those kind of disabilities playing basketball and stuff. I can't imagine having the, the willpower to go through all that. And it's intense. Intense, yeah. They get pretty pretty mean out there. But it was cool. Not It was kind of like we were the minority because there's so many people there with uh, disabilities and wheelchairs and stuff. And just being, being there and seeing all that was pretty cool. But now Rachel's taking me home and she's going shopping to spend all of our money. Now let's sit up. Okay, so I just got out of the mall. I only got two shirts. It's pretty lame. The first store I went to is Dillard's because I parked near it. And that's where I got the two shirts. And I tried on like five more because they were having a really good sale. But I was like, no, I'm not going to buy all these because I'll probably see other stuff in the mall. Like, didn't see anything. It's kind of lame. So I got those two shirts. But anyways, story. I parked near Dillard's, so I plan on coming back through there on the way out and maybe looking at a couple more things since I didn't buy anything else. And for work, I have to wear hose, and so I well, don't have to, but I do. And so I was like, I'll buy a pair of hose. And so I had I picked those up and was walking around looking at more shirts and stuff. And didn't see anything else, so I was like, well, I'll just go on to Walmart because I have to get groceries. So I get out and I'm getting in my car and going to Walmart. Then I started thinking, I was like, what, did I set down those hoes I was going to buy? Or, because I don't remember, I didn't buy them. And so I was like, so what did I do with those? Look over in the seat. And I had walked out with the pair of hoes without paying for it. So I started spazzing out and I had to drive back to the mall. And I went in and I went and paid for them. And tried to tell this lady that was checking me out, was telling her the story. And all the while, she's busy giving me my change back, and she didn't hear a word of the story I said. And so then I, I thought she was going to give me a guilt trip, whoever I told. It, I mean, I was admitting that I accidentally stole them, but I came back and paid for them. But she didn't even hear the story. So it wasn't made a big deal, which I guess is good. But then I started worrying that what if they, people like that watch the cameras go back and think that I stole it and don't know that I went back in and paid for it. But I did go back in and pay for it. And that was probably a really long, bad story that Derek's going to have to listen to twice now since I told the camera and I'm going to tell him when I get home. But he'll have to deal with it. So now I'm going to Walmart and buying groceries for stuff to make for the Super Bowl. 
and we need milk really bad. And that's it. Rachel's sleeping. Rachel's sleeping while I play Call of Duty.